Kapag sinabi nating transcendental functions, ibig sabihin nito ay hindi natin siya masusulat as a sum or product of algebraic expression. So sa madaling sabi, kapag sinabi nating transcendental functions, hindi siya algebraic. Okay, so, ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin kung paano kunin ang limit ng tatlo sa mga uri ng transcendental functions. Meron tayong exponential, meron tayong logarithmic, and trigonometric functions. So, unahin na natin agad yung exponential functions. We have the theorem, limit of b raised to g of x as x approaches c is equal to b raised to g of c. Or kung meron tayong natural exponential function, limit of e raised to g of x as x approaches c is equal to e raised to g of c wherein g of x is a polynomial function. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng theorem na ito? Kung mapapansin ninyo, kapag kukunin natin ang limit ng exponential functions, gagamitin lang natin ang direct substitution. So, kahit anong value ng c ay okay lamang kasi nga ang exponential function ay walang restricted Domain. Para ka lang nage-evaluate ng exponential function as x is equal to c. For example, we have to find the limit of 2 raised to x plus 1 minus 3 as x approaches 2. Substitute lang natin yung 2 sa x. So magiging 2 raised to 2 plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 2 raised to 3 minus 3 is equal to 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Ganun lang siya kadali. Kung mayroon tayong uh, natural exponential function, limit of e raised to x plus 1 as x approaches 4 is equal to e raised to 4 plus 1. Pinalit natin yung 4, kaya e raised to 5. Pwede nyo i-calculator yung e raised to 5 or okay na rin siyang or acceptable na rin yung e raised to 5. Okay? So kapag exponential function ang given, Go with direct substitution. Sa, uh, sa substitute lang natin yung x equals c sa given na function. Next type of transcendental function is logarithmic function. We have limit of logarit logarithm of g of x to base b as x approaches c is equal to logarithm of g of c to base b wherein g of c is greater than 0. Pag-usapan natin ito mamaya. Or if we have the... Natural logarithmic function, limit of ln g of x as x approaches c is equal to ln g of c. Ganon din siya wherein g of c is greater than 0. So, anong ibig sabihin nitong g of c is greater than 0? Ito yung ating restriction sa domain. Kasi nga, kapag kinuha natin ang limit ng logarithmic function, gagamit pa rin tayo ng direct substitution. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Kapag ang argument natin ay nag-0 pababa, the limit does not exist. Sabihin, 0 papuntang negative sign, hindi pwede kasing ang argument natin ay ganun. Okay, for example, limit of logarithm of x plus 5, ang base nito ay 10, kaya hindi nakalagay as x approaches 2 is equal to logarithm of 2 plus 5, pinag lang natin ito, is equal to logarithm of 7. Pwede nyo yung i-calculator to. And, limit of logarithm of x minus 1 as x approaches 1 is equal to logarithm of quantity 1 minus 1 is equal to logarithm of 0. So, kapag na-calculator yung logarithm of 0, ito'y, ang sagot dito is undefined. Kasi nga, kapag x is equal to 1, hindi siya madadaanan ng function. Ibig sabihin, ito ay hindi kasama sa domain nitong function na logarithm of x minus 1 kasi nga, yung argument natin ay naging 0. Okay, so kapag nag-zero yung argument pababa, okay, hindi siya kasama sa domain, the limit does not exist. Ayun lang yung pinagkaiba niya sa exponential function kasi nga, ang exponential function ay walang restriction ang domain. Next, kapag, ganun din kapag mayroon tayong limit of a natural logarithmic function, limit of ln 3x as x approaches 2 is equal to ln 3 times 2 is equal to ln 6. Calculator nyo na lang ito, pwede yan. And if we have limit of ln x minus 7 as x approaches 5 is equal to ln 5 minus 7 is equal to ln of negative 2, the limit does not exist. Dahil uh, hindi ito madadaanan ng function as x at x is equal to 5. Okay, ibig sabihin itong 5 ay hindi kasama sa domain ng function na ln of x minus 7. Okay, so tandaan kapag ka logarithmic function, meron tayong uh, part dyan na hindi mag-e-exist yung limit kasi nga, hindi part ng domain yung x na iyon. The next one is trigonometric function. Mayroon tayong anim na uri ng trigonometric function. We have the sine, cosine, tangent, 
cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So, kung babalikan natin ang inyong pre-calculus lessons, so itong sine and cosine functions ay walang restricted domain. Ibig sabihin, ang sine at cosine function ay defined for all values of x. Pero ang tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent ay may restriction ang domain. So, para pagsamasamahin natin, kung kukunin natin ang limit ng trigonometric functions, gagamit pa rin tayo ng direct substitution. Ngayon, paano kapag hindi defined yung function dun sa value ng x? So, ang sagot ay limit does not exist. Kasi nga, hindi siya defined. Hindi nadaanan yung point na iyon at x is equal to c. If c is not in the domain of the given function. So, limit of sine g of x as x approaches c is equal to sine g of c. Limit of cos g of x as x approaches c is equal to cos g of c. Limit of tangent g of x as x approaches c is equal to tangent g of c. Ganun din sa kanilang reciprocal functions. Okay? Wherein g of x is a polynomial function or g of x is a function of x. Let's take a look at finding the limits of the following trigonometric functions. Number 1, limit of sin x as x approaches pi over 6 is equal to, substitute lang natin itong pi over 6 dun sa x, so pi, sin pi over 6 is equal to 1 half. Alam naman natin na ang coordinates ng pi over 6 sa unit circle ay square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half, and then sine ay yung y value natin, which is 1 half. Next, limit of tangent 2x as x approaches pi over 6 is equal to tangent of 2 times pi over 6 is equal to tangent pi over 3 is equal to ang ating tangent ay equal sa sine over cosine. So, sine pi over 3 over cosine pi over 3. And then, get the coordinates of pi over 6 in the unit, or pi over 3 in the unit circle. We have 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So, sine pi over 3 is y value. So, square root of 3 over 2 over cosine is 1 half, which is equal to square root of 3. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Nagsasubstitute lang din tayo. Next, limit of second x as x approaches pi over 2 is equal to second pi over 2. So, ang coordinates ng pi over 2, di ba siya 90 degrees, we have 0, 1 is equal to ang second ay reciprocal ng cosine. So, y over cosine pi over 2, which is equal to 1 over 0. Ito yung x coordinate natin. So, 1 over 0, which is undefined. Since hindi defined yung ating second function as x approaches pi over 2, the limit does not exist.